Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I got shattered up on Julian's live stream. I've been trying to get him or Jenna Marbles to see the bacon massage video for quite a long time. And uh, he, he was live and he was doing a pin drop. He, he makes these pins and they're hard to get. Uh, I finally got some ordered, so that's pretty cool too. But I was like, hey, check out my bacon massage video, but don't gross out too much because they're vegan or whatever. So he was like, bird snake brown. Wait, just check it out. Bird snake brown. Please watch my bacon massage video someday. It's a total body massage parody and also kind of gross. Bird snake brown. Thank you, and I, I will check that out. Bacon massage. So today the phone rang like pretty early, like I was still sitting in bed drinking coffee, Amanda answered it, it was my dad, he was like, that guy we ordered seven mattresses for got the wrong size, now we're stuck with the mattresses. So I got up, got dressed, um, went to work, it's my day off, so thumbs up for going to work on your day off, right? It turned out, we got a guy who has a fleet of trucks and he said he needed two twin size, five full size. So we've got these seven mattresses in our mattress store. We have well over $2,000 of our money invested in these mattresses, right? So it's totally understandable that the guy messed up. He, he got the wrong size. Um, it happens sometimes. So normally when we have a problem like this, um, you know, if we buy something extra that we didn't need, we work, we work with a lot of local manufacturers and everyone's real cool. They'll be like, oh, hey man, no problem. You can send it back. Um, you know, we'll give you credit or give you your money back. Like, that's normally the way it works. But these mattresses that we had ordered, it was not that simple. So I got on the phone with the guy from the, the company we bought them from. He was like, uh, we really don't want to take them back. Can't you just like sell them at your store or something like that? Which would not be easy for us. Um, they're like high dollar twin and fulls, which is rare. And so I went on and on with this guy and finally I was like, we sell a lot of your mattresses. Do you value our business or what? And he was like, all right, I'll see what I can do. So hung up off the phone with him. Uh, called the girl that works at the same company that we usually deal with. She was like, we'll see what we can do. So I kind of got jerked around by a mattress vendor today, which, uh, you know, I, th I hope they'll do the right thing. Everybody else we work with would be like, hey, you know, somebody made a mistake, let's... So anyway, that's how my day started. And, you know, as a small business, it's hard for me to pay for a $2,000 mistake that's really no one's fault. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll, try, to, I'll try to keep you guys filled in. Hey, this is Bird Snake from One Day in the Future, and I just want to let you know that everything worked out with the mattress vendor. They are going to give us our money back. We're taking the mattresses back to the warehouse right now. So uh, we did lose a little profit by having to give the customer their money back, but all is well in mattress land. After all that went down, went to lunch at a barbecue restaurant that I haven't been to in 10 years called Real Pit Barbecue in Grand Prairie. And when I was younger, my friend lived across the street and we would go eat there all the time. And then they closed for a little while and then they got bought by another guy. I finally went in there today and he was like, sauce is the same. Sauce is the same. They have like their, their secret recipe barbecue sauce. Man, it was, it was just the same. It smelled the same in there. Like brought back a lot of memories, but they used to have this soda fountain that you could push the, you could push the button halfway and just the syrup would come out. So we would like make a Dr. Pepper or a Coke with like extra syrup. I asked them about it. They actually said that the soda fountain vendor that they used took the machine back. So bummer for them. That was like an antique soda fountain. So it was fantastic to have that food. And I'm so glad that Real Pit Barbecue is still in business. Um, we used to have a place called Bob's Burger and Shake that had been here since the 50s. And about 10 years back, it, it became a taco restaurant. And about a year went by and the old sign was gone and then they bricked up the patio and I guess what I'm trying to say is I'll never get to have another burger from Bob's Burger and Shake. When you've got stuff like that in your town, you should definitely support it. Go spend your money with those businesses because, you know, they might go away someday. Anyway, that's what's going on with me today. It turned out to be a really good day. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day as well. So leave me some comments down there. I'm curious if you had like specialty restaurants or stores in your area that you used to love that are long gone. Uh, I'll never forget what it tastes like to eat a burger from Bob's Burger and Shake, but I'll just never get to have that again. I was looking at my analytics and it turns out most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed to my channel, hit subscribe. You know, the higher that number goes, the more likely other people are to subscribe and that's really how a YouTube channel grows. Anyway, I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. Same sauce is the 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 same